Gospel Road. Ephesians 2 is what we will look at today. It says, And you were dead in the trespasses of sin, and sin in which you once walked, following the course of this world, following the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work in the sons of disobedience, among whom we all once lived in the passions of our flesh, carrying out the desires of the body and the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, like the rest of mankind. But God, being rich in mercy, because of great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together in Christ. By grace, you have been saved and raised us up in, up with him and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, so that in the coming ages he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace and kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing, it is a gift from God. Not a result of works, so that no one may boast, for we are his workmanship, created in Christ for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Therefore, remember that at one time you Gentiles in the flesh called the uncircumcision by what is called the circumcision, which is made in the flesh by hands. Remember that you were at that time separated from Christ, alienated from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers to the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. For he himself is our peace, who has made us both one and has broken down in his flesh that dividing wall of hostility by abolishing the law of the commandments expressed in ordinance that he might create in himself one new man in place of two, so making peace, and might reconcile us both to God in one body through the cross, therefore killing the hostility and he came and he preached peace to you who were far off and peace to those who were near. For through him, we both have access to one spirit to the Father, so that when you are no longer strangers and aliens, but you are fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God, built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Christ Jesus himself, being the cornerstone in whom the whole structure being joined together grows into a holy temple in the Lord. In him, you also are being built together in a dwelling place for God by the Spirit. Ephesians 2. That's what we're looking at today. Peace. During his time on earth, Jesus spoke peace. He shared peace wanting us to get along, harmony, not hostility, not fighting against one another. By showing us mercy, by giving us grace. And how often do we act that way? How often are we giving mercy or grace to those around us? You know, it mentions in here that we are saved through grace, not by our own works. But the thing is, we're to do good works because we're to be good to other people. We're to, you know, have respect and love them and help them in need. But again, not boasting on the works that we do. Humility. We hear about humility all the time. You hear about humility when you are doing the management training, you know, the, the self-help when you're trying to be that better person. 
But it's sharing that with others and really giving them that encouragement. We are dealing with hostility every day. The hostility never went away. We are constantly in fights with one another, country against country, person against person. I mean, we even see it in families where you're having problems with siblings or uncles and aunts and cousins. You know, somebody did something that made somebody upset. So whenever you come together as a family, there's tension, there's hostility. We have divorce, hostility. People get promoted instead of you, we have hostility. Lose a job, we have hostility. I've failed in many of those places over the years. I still fail today, but I try to do my best to, to not give that, to, to not go down that road. You know, if a person makes a decision or something happens to them, love them, encourage them. Say, that is, I just want the best for you. You know, because we're we're trying to help people be better people, try to be the best it is that they can be. At the same time, that's my journey. That's my goal to do the same, to be the best that I can. And it, by no means, is not easy. One of the hardest things to do because things happen every day and you get frustrated, you get annoyed, you get anxious. And you're not sure how to deal with those feelings, how to deal with those situations. But you have to do your best to stay calm. Do your best to put your best foot forward it's a lot of best in there isn't it it's loving one another love God love yourself love your neighbor love 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 we need to love one another we need to want the best for each other we want We should want people to really grow to their best potential. To succeed in life. To succeed with their family. Which then makes us a valuable friend, makes us a valuable family member. Because we're trying to help them be the best that they can be. By giving grace, by giving mercy, showing that, just like it's been shown and given to us. You know, we are one. We're here together. Now, we're not always going to agree. We're not always going to see eye to eye. And that's okay. We've got to find that baseline of things that we do agree on and things that we can talk about. And build on that the same time even with someone we're not agreeing with if they need help we need to pick them up if it's your enemy they need help you know as the bible says to treat your enemy with kindness is like pouring hot rocks on his head something to that effect burns him up because you're being nice. I mean, how many times have you done something and someone's expecting you to act a certain way and you didn't? You, rather than getting angry and screaming, you just treated them with kindness, love. It's a completely different way of doing things. And it does. It catches them off guard because it's not what they're expecting. You know, why are we living in a world of expectation and giving them what they expect? Give them something different. Give them something that they're not expecting. There's a song, I believe it's Josh Wilson, Revolution. 
You know, why is kindness so revolutionary? Why are we not able to give that kindness every day? Hmm. Good question. Ephesians 2. Read it for you. How does it help you? What does it say to you to really dig inside to help you be better today than yesterday? Be better tomorrow than today. Again, we are trying to be that best person to not just for us, though, but for others to help them be the the best that they can be. Read that today, Ephesians 2. I hope you enjoyed this podcast. If you did, share it with others on social media. You can also give a rating on the platform you're listening would appreciate that as well find me on social media facebook twitter instagram tiktok my buddy jimmy my buddy jimmy.com and check out uh, my other podcasts uh, i have the reading podcast yeah i share stories it's kind of fun sometimes it's practice for me it's not always great but you know I'll do the best i can You know, a lot of this is, as they say, practice, practice, practice. So, you know, I'm trying to practice the best that I can to do the best that I can. Thank you for listening to the Gospel Road. Have a great day. God bless. Spinal adjustments provided by Dr. Chad Rolfson. The Spinal Tuning Chiropractic Center is a Des Moines area low flat fee per month unlimited chiropractic care practice. When life happens, just adjust. Schedule today at SpinalTuning.com. If you're looking for help with software, app, web development, be sure to check out my friends at IngenuityCompany.com. They believe in their clients. Software development, app development, web development, visioning, design thinking, diagramming, organizational development, strategy, they can help you at the Ingenuity Company. Find out more at IngenuityCompany.com. Barbecue provided by Kenny's Rib Wagon. Catering ribs for your pleasure and serving daily at Plaza Pub, 62nd and Douglas in Des Moines, across from Merle Hay Mall. Find Kenny's Rib Wagon on Facebook. The Jimmy Olsen Radio Network.